One eternity later. Sweatshirts are the best thing that can ever happen to you. Like, no jokes. Like, this color of the sweatshirt. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Pragya, aka Glam by Pragya. So if you are new to my channel, hi, hello, please make sure you hit the red subscribe button down below to join my glam squad where I talk about makeup, skin, hair, beauty, anything that would make you look glamorous. So today we are going to be talking about minimalist. Now in my previous video where I talked about the squalene, uh, minimalist squalene, I mentioned that I was trying out the other products. And so I wanted to wrap it up as a whole one video in this video. So, so today we are going to be talking about the other minimalist product, First Sensitive Acne Prone Skin. This is the Minimalist Salicylic Acid and this is the Lactic Acid and this is the Speculum Oat Moisturized. So these are the three products I was trying out and today I just thought of like giving you a good review and those reviews are going to be all my trials like how I my skin was reacting so there you will see more about my skin my natural skin how I applied it and how it works and, and especially I just wanted to say that it took me time to come to this review because I started purging yes I purged a little bit I was not understanding on which two products I was purging I was confused so yeah, yeah if you are interested so please keep on watching and without any further ado let's just get rolling So now coming to the first product that is the lactic acid 10% with hyaluronic acid 1% Now uh, the product I really wanted to try out from a very long time I wanted to try the ordinary lactic acid 10% but I could never get my hands on I was too confused that whether it will suit me or not if it doesn't then all my money is like going through the drain Thank God Minimalist has it and the price is very affordable it is priced at uh, it is priced at $5.99 but again they have a discount going on their website so you can grab it. So coming to the ingredients of the lactic acid, first it contains aloe vera juice which is the purest form of aloe vera which will keep your face, uh, keep your skin hydrated and moisturized. Then it contains lactic acid. So second ingredient is a lactic acid and which I appreciate. I mean in all the uh, minimalist skincare products, the main ingredient on which the product is made of it it is in the second ingredient so having it on the second ingredient i would say it will definitely give you results so next it contains demethyl isorbide which is a solvent that really helps this product to penetrate deep under your skin layers so it really works as a solvent next it contains sodium hyaluronate uh, propan propandial is a solvent again uh, phenoxtenol pulin glycerin it contains uh, turmeric so the main reason for this uh, lactic acid looks yellow in color uh, it has xanthan gum which helps in making your skin look smooth and all that nice i don't find any weird or concerning ingredients so the ingredient list is very clean and nice and okay, now coming to lactic acid what is lactic acid dude and how lactic acid works on your skin right now lactic acid is actually the mildest acid among all the aha like lactic acid is a very good uh, exfoliator if when it comes to like a chemical exfoliation and it is perfect for sensitive skin because it is the mildest of all AHA especially compared to glycolic acid it is really really mild and that's what made me buy to be very honest I really don't like glycolic acid I feel it is way too much and glycolic acid can burn your skin so lactic acid won't give you that chance of getting your skin burned but yes you have to use very little uh, two to three drops would be more than enough for your skin as it is a mild exfoliator it is really great for reducing hyperpigmentation your acne scar and lactic acid will also not dry out your skin so it is something that will keep your skin moisturized yet you know doing that all chemical exfoliation stuff and it is really mild compared to glycolic acid i think this could be a great option rather than going for AH and bha combined so you can really use this and the ph of this lactic acid is 3.5 to 4.0 i'm glad that they have mentioned mentioned you know so this is how the uh, product actually looks so it doesn't look that yellow when on hand running but in the bottle it does look pretty the consistency is a bit slimy and 
it's nice it feels nice it feels very moisturizing also in your skin now this is the first time when i use this uh lactic acid on my skin and to be very honest it felt a bit tingling on my skin i didn't expect it to be uh, very this tingling but i just wanted to tell you guys that don't apply too much you really don't need to apply too much you just need to two and three drops and just massage it on your face wherever you have problem mainly i have this pigmentation which i really want to work on i am trying to work on that uh this is how my skin is looking it is very fast absorbed and there was a very slight tingling sensation but currently there is no tingling sensation anymore so usually I apply this at the night time and i do like it i think if you are from normal skin if you don't uh, have that much sensitive skin i think it you won't feel that tingling sensation i have a super sensitive skin so and also i have got acne so that's why it tingles my skin a very lightly caused me any purging i was super happy my skin looked glowy the next day morning and very soft by in case like i have never felt my skin feeling so soft in the morning now coming to the hyperpigmentation i didn't see any hyperpigmentation reduced in like 2 weeks or so and i also feel my skin is getting exfoliated rather than getting burnt or any of that like i had I got my skin burnt due to this age and DHA. I like it. I mean, I'm happy with it. So now coming to the second product is the salicylic acid. Now, salicylic acid is the best 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 serum for uh acne prone skin. Now, I cannot stop like if you have acne, I would say just go and grab some salicylic acid product and put it shove it on your face like <laughs> i would really say that but salicylic acid is supremely good and now coming to this question is that is the minimalist salicylic acid good for your skin or not now the minimal salicylic acid actually claims to get rid of the oils get rid of blackheads and get rid of acne so this is what this product claims to do and now coming to the ingredients number first is the aloe vera juice like all of their compositions are started with aloe vera juice so that's really great and the next ingredient after aloe vera juice is demethyl isorbide which acts as a solvent and it really helps the actives to get absorbed into your skin really quick so coming to propendiol which is also a solvent and the fourth ingredient is actually bha that is the salicylic acid and after that there are few other ingredients like a solvent humectant preservative stabilizer Yes now coming to my experience now on the first day when i first used this product at the night time i actually uh, started uh, purging the next day morning i saw my skin had a little bit of bump on my face like i was having a clear skin i was not having acne because my skin care routine was pretty stabilized but after adding the salicylic acid into my skin care routine i saw a little bit of texture and all this small acne over here and i was not sure why it came so i thought maybe due to the bha it caused uh, now let's see that whether it helps to reduce this acne or not or it creates more purging or so if you can see over here the acne which i had it was pretty big and all of that right now it has kind of dried and you can literally see it has dried a lot so you can see by 2 days it will get dried and when uh, by 3 days i think this will go off it will automatically exfoliate really dried down that acne pretty fast i would say 3 day tops it dried that acne completely and also like few textures around this uh, like around my nose area my cheek area there were few little texture out there but that also kind of really kind of uh, vanished so to be very honest like this product worked pretty well on my skin i felt a bit of purging so that's why i wanted to mention you that yes but after that i have used so many times i didn't saw any more acne so you don't have to apply all over your face you can just apply on the blackheads area where you have blackheads and on the acne and if you want to control your oils you can apply it on your t zone again i would say don't apply it every day just apply it 
twice or thrice a week i have all of this because i need to review it for you guys but you need to choose which one you want for your skin but if you have acne i would say go for the salicylic acid one because this won't actually reduce acne but to help you, it will help you in you know removing texture pigmentation dark spots it will do that job like if you don't have any acne bumps you just have pigmentations and you know spots i would say go for the lactic acid but if you have acne then i would say that go for the uh, salicylic acid so that's it and don't use both in the same day you know to be safe i would say don't use it together use it alternative day you will see result i mean not even alternative day use this once a week and you can use this twice and thrice a week so so now coming to the last product of the video is the speculum 3% oat moisturizer it is a skin soothing and light moisturization cream this is how the moisturizer looks like it comes with a lid on top like to cover it and then you get the you know moisturizer now coming to the question like what is speculum the speculum is the combination of alpha amino acids to actually calm our irritated skin like if you have irritated like if you have irritated skin and like you know very uh dry or flaky or i would say any acne irritations your skin is getting red i think this will work a great way i would like to show you one thing this is how the moisturizer it looks it really looks thin right but when you're moisturizing it starts feeling a bit like this is how it is swatched right now so it looks very lightweight very thin but as you work it on your skin as you are massaging you will see it's turning thick it's turning thick you are feeling that you know moisturizing effect you are feeling that creamy thick good it's really great for i would say winters like I cannot explain like this is the best way I can explain like when you apply it when you take it on your hand it feels thin but when you work it on your skin and start massaging it on your skin it starts getting thick and then it really sits on your skin and it's like set i don't feel any fragrance in it so yes i feel it is a fragrance free product if you are somebody with oily skin this moisturizer will not make your skin any further oily now coming to the ingredients very quickly it contains aqua as the first ingredient it doesn't contains any aloe vera juice so yeah it contains aqua the ingredient is oat extract because it's a oat moisturizer third ingredient is squalene squalene is very good for your skin it is something that is uh not going to clog your pores it is uh, mimicking a natural oil to be very exact so anyway this is something i really like i would say i really really like this moisturizer because i was looking for a moisturizer that works as a moisturizer and it is really not that harmful so so yeah that's it about the moisturizer and the uh, active serums now I like all of the minimalist product till now because I have selected based on my skin. I know what is going to work on my skin. I have a very good knowledge about it. That's the main reason I have picked up these products only. I uh, there are many products in minimalist because I don't need those products and and as I am from a sensitive skin family so I got these products only because they are safe for me and I wanted to try it out to check and then review it also. I hope this video was helpful and I hope this review was helpful for you guys to understand and so yeah that's it for today we'll see you guys in my next video till then bye bye